Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to install your router using the D-Link QRS mobile app for your iPhone or Android. Now in this example, I'm using the iPhone 4S using the latest iOS version 6.1.3. However, if you have an iPad or an earlier version of the iOS software, the setup step should pretty much be the same. Now the first thing we need to do is download the QRS mobile app. So to do that, we're going to go into the App Store and we're going to do a search for the D-Link QRS. Once you search for it, it should be the first one that comes up. From here, we just want to click on the install button. Once it's installed, we want to then just go back to your home screen. And now what we need to do is connect to the wireless signal of your router. To do that, we're going to go under settings and under Wi-Fi. In this case, I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi on and I'm gonna to connect to the default signal from the router. Now, depending on the router that you have, the router may have a predefined wireless network name and password. That information should be inside the box on a wireless companion card. If you no longer have this card, the default wireless network name and password will also be right on the bottom of the router on the white sticker. So I'm just gonna to connect to the network, enter in my password, click join. And then once connected, again, I'm gonna go back to my home screen and launch the QRS mobile app. First thing that the app's going to do is detect your connection and make sure that your router supports the QRS mobile. You should be taken to a start screen where you can go ahead and start the setup. Now, if you've already connected the cables and everything to the router, you can just click next on this step. Otherwise, please follow these steps to properly install your router. So here we're going to click on the next button. It's going to try to detect your internet connection. And if it is successful, it will take you right into your Wi-Fi settings. If it wasn't able to determine your internet settings, it will ask you to enter in your internet provider settings. So from here in the Wi-Fi settings, it shows your default wireless network name and the default password. So I'm going to click on the default network name and then enter in my own. So now that I've done that, I'm also going to do the same thing to the password. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in my own wireless password. Once I've done that, I'm going to click on done and then click on the next button. Now again, depending on your router, in this example here, we're using a dual band router. So it's going to give you your wireless settings for the five gigahertz wireless band. So similar to the 2.4, I'm going to change this default network name. And I'm also going to change the password. From there, I'm going to click on next. And then the next setting here is to set a device password. And the device password now is going to be the router's login password. So the password you're going to need to log into the router configuration page to make any changes. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in a password here. And then click on done and then click on next. From here, it's going to give you a summary of all your wireless settings. From there, you just want to click on the save button and your router will reboot to apply your settings. Now at this point here, because we've changed the wireless network name, I'm going to get disconnected from the wireless signal. So now I need to go in and connect to my new wireless signal. So again, from your home screen, I'm gonna go into settings. And from there, I'm going to choose my new wireless network. I'm gonna enter in the password I just created and then click on join. Now, once you've connected to the network, you should get a check mark next to your wireless network name that will indicate that you are connected. Another way of checking, again, from your home screen, you can just go ahead and launch your web browser or any app that uses the internet, and your internet should be working. For more helpful videos, please check out support.dlink.ca.